This was epic when this came out. It really was. I, I remember just sitting here watching this like I was watching a movie. But now you look at it and it's all blocky and pixelated. <laughs> Just I remember the first time of, uh, seeing this, thinking, "Wow, like 3D." Yeah, this was a big deal. It's hard to believe it. This was, this was, it looked amazing when this first came out. Dun, 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 boom, boom. This is, this was awesome. It's still awesome. I love the music on this stage. It has like a rhythm guitar and a lead guitar. <laughs> <laughs> they they got those great voices in the beginning. Why, why couldn't they? Oh, and in the end, when you beat the game, there's voices that are crystal clear. It's not like gosh, gosh, gosh. But during all this, yeah, they they sound like garbage. Why is that? Oh, I like how they sound. <laughs> oh, you like the do? Of course. Everybody I mean, I think it, I think it's funny. Yeah, I mean, how could you not like that? Can we just do the whole video like that? Do we have to talk? I want to do every video from now on like that. Like, you know how people learn to speak Klingon? I want to just learn to speak Peppy. And fucking Slippy. Let's keep going with that. Wow, just how double, this was double, so amazing double, when it came it, out. I still think this is awesome. I know it's like all polygon looking yeah. graphics, but it's like this, it, it was well done though. Like I'm having fun right uh -huh. now. Oh yeah, it, it's a it's the, the the gameplay is great. Oh it, shit, I didn't you know that. You can tell uh, you know what what you're targeted on. You can you can tell where you're going. Which um, is the one that shoots you ahead? It's, I think X. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is I, it I hit the bomb X, and I haven't played this in a while. Oh, yeah. Am I right? Is it X? Yeah, it's actually... Right. Yeah, it is X. Yeah! That was where I always used to use it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't need to, but... There he is. That's my favorite, the frog. There you go. Yeah, save him. And then they get pissed. They're like, they wait, that pissed, was yeah. mine! Yeah, it's like... Oh, well, that never, time he didn't... That, that time he was happy, but then sometimes they're like, Hey, I had that one. Why'd yeah. you do that? That, you know... It's because I was trying to help you. Like, yeah, you fucking... Frog. What does Fox sound like? Fox? He, he never talks, I don't think. Does, didn't he write in the beginning? He made, like, some noises? You don't see him no. come up too much. Uh, 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 uh. It's like so, um, what's the word for it? It's ominous, you mean? Just yeah, like, that, there you go. It's kind of like, like, I just feel like the the sound of the machine uh, was just a very musical. Yeah. Everything in the game kind of has this rhythmic kind of musical quality to it. Good luck. Good luck. And should you tell the story again? We've told it before, but quickly, you want to rephrase? You, you and your sister used to fight. Let's see. One of us thought it was good luck, and the other thought it was goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, goodbye. Good okay. luck. You know. It's good luck. It says good luck on the screen. Yeah. That, that was my case, but uh, I <laughs> well, think... Well, that's a good, think, good fucking case. Yeah, well, well, I I forget. I, I could have been the idiot the uh, other way around. Right, I, don't, okay. I don't... It doesn't matter, but... Right, right. But it was funny because over such a stupid thing, me and my sister would, would argue, like, like, it's good luck, it's goodbye, you're stupid, right. you're an idiot. This you know what reminded they, me they of Empire like. Strikes Back, like the asteroid. Field. Well, Star Wars, Star Fox, and Star Fox is a game that's very much based in the ship. Like you're, you're always flying. Yeah. You know, but that was. Oh well, later difference. on they came out with other Star Fox yeah. games where you were like walking around and stuff. Yeah, but this one, it's like you're all, you're always inside the ship. Yeah, I, I remember the comic in Nintendo Power. Actually, mm -hmm. do you remember the Star Fox comic? Vaguely, but yes, I do. I remember the Zelda one a lot more. Oh, the Zelda one, I was I was hardcore about. I yeah. was always looking forward to that every month. That was like, for a little while, that was the thing that I was excited about the most with Nintendo Power. I yeah. just want to see the Zelda comic. I thought you were most excited when it came in the mail and you got, it was like a football guy on the front Oh, cover. that one, yeah. You loved that, right? Well, that was actually just, a, the one you're talking about was just a uh, an entire uh, issue the strategy dedicated to four player games. Uh -huh. It just so happened that the cover was a four player football game, and I remember you you tell me that you threw that out. I think I did actually. That. But if, if I you was so pissed, if you would have opened it up, it had like Ninja Gaiden or or not Ninja Gaiden, but it had like Gauntlet four player, like every, everything four player. You know what? I, I I probably assumed 
that, that, was that the whole thing was sports and didn't even look yeah. through it. Because it's like if you if you open up if you have uh, a Nintendo Power and Batman's on the cover, right? The whole thing isn't Batman, right? Like somewhere in there, yeah. there might be a page with sports or something. Yeah, but like like one of the you games, know I wouldn't have thrown game. it. I wouldn't have thrown it yeah. out if Batman was on the cover. You you hated it that much. Where as soon as you saw football, you're like, what the fuck is this shit? And you yeah. Throw it away. I actually I thought it was a strategy guide for like one game because I remember yeah, it was like yeah. red and most of the issues were like you know yeah didn't, exactly. didn't look like that. I'd be like Jack Nicholson. You know what? You know why you might have thought that? Because the one right before or, or, it was like Mario or something. Yeah, it was Mario yeah. three, and that was the red. And strategy the whole book guide. was the that. The whole book was. See, Mario now 3. you see why. That's probably I did. why. You so I called. I was like, oh, another one of these, and it's all football. Yeah, yeah. Trash. <laughs> Blast it open. That looks like the old um, burn logo for the Apple. Oh yeah, like back, a CD. back when they had a fucking burn logo. <laughs> James hates that. <laughs> I hate. I. Oh, That's God. why you made the bullshit video about it, right? It's not enough. It's, there's got to be like a whole <laughs> fucking documentary about it. A documentary yeah. about the Apple iTunes there does. button. Oh, no, about iTunes in general. Uh, just iTunes in general. Don't even get me started with iTunes. Yeah, I know. I really don't want to. Now, how do I get my mind off it? I'm sorry. I'm so I know. No, I know. No. I, I just pissed you off by mentioning <laughs> iTunes. I know how much you hate yeah. it. But let's talk about Star What Fox. I hate the most is let's that. Let's talk about I, Star Fox. All right. Um, All right. You want to talk about iTunes? I'll give you. No, ten. I don't. I don't. I don't. I give you. Uh, you no, can say no. one thing about iTunes. Go, and then everything has to be Starbucks after that. Oh my God! Like, what pisses you off about iTunes? Everything. Okay. We're, like, okay. Most recent example is yeah. now. I can't even figure out how to get um, uh, how to manually take music from uh, my iTunes on my computer onto. Uh, see, I still have to back everything. I want to explain. I have to back up iTunes is all about syncing everything. They just want to sync one library. Right, I, hate, I hate that. If you switch it to be man, because I don't want the same. Because okay, what I'm trying to sync is my my iPhone. Because I want I want music on the go all the time, and I want to have all my shit with me yeah. all the time. That's the thing. But I don't want all my shit because if I did, it wouldn't even fit on the damn iPhone. Because I have. Oh, there, like, there, that was the that was the burn button again. There you go, burn button. So I only want uh, select. You know, amount of my music on my iPhone, because otherwise there'd be so much, I wouldn't even be able to like take pictures on my 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 iPhone or do. I wouldn't be able to download any apps because because the music I have wouldn't even fit on the iPhone. Right. Um. So anyway, I, I want to manually select them, and I've been doing that, but now it wants me to erase and sync everything uh, again because I, I wanted hate to, the syncing I wanted to add one fucking song. Here's the thing, if you buy it off the iTunes store, that's no problem, because then you could always download it on your phone if right. you bought it. But you want to like take but, it from CD or but, something? Yeah, I have things that are on CDs, and now... That's the thing, they don't want to make it convenient for it, CD, because they, they don't want like. you to have CDs. Now you can't, now suppose, you, it, up until a few weeks ago, I was always able to drag anything from my computer to my iPhone. Yeah. Now it doesn't work. Whenever that happens, yeah. I get this gray circle. Yeah. It never goes away. That's because they don't want I you get, to do that. That's what it seems like. It seems like a very silent kind of, like... Yeah, like that's what it is. They're trying. They're to, doing one step at a time, silently, yeah. to, to, and, to abolish the whole yeah. thing. And if, totally if you is. collected CDs your whole life, it's like fuck you. You see all now, those now, fucking CDs over there? Like, all my Elvis CDs? I got like eight hundred of them. Basically, Apple is saying fuck that. They want you to buy all that shit again on the iTunes store. Yeah, well, you know what I'm you saying? Know? I'm saying fuck you, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Trying to get rid of all my music. Actually, I do have to say the Apple Store does have a pretty good selection of Elvis music to download. But the thing is, yeah. I already have them all on yeah, CD. If you have I've it, spent, why would you want to buy I've it spent again? thousands of dollars yeah. during my life on Elvis music. Like, yeah, they have a great selection, but I have you, to now you, buy it again. You didn't buy that all overnight. That was like from your teenage yeah, years. Yeah, like for, I've been doing this like, since I was 18 know. years old. Yeah. I'm 34 years old now. I'm not gonna buy thousands of dollars of Elvis music like in one, in like a day or something like. What you know? The bullshit. It's just it's because they want to make so, they want to make money. They want it's your money. So difficult, like every single thing to do. Just keep, it seems anyway. Like and it's every, a Star Fox. Fucking, yeah. It's, uh, every, Look every, at this. This oh, is cool. Yeah, that is really cool, and I loved that as a kid. But but I fucking hate i, I every <laughs> every update with iTunes. It always becomes there's more clicks you have to do to do something simple, and like. I'm a playlist man too. Like I love right. playlists. Like like when I was a kid, I used to uh, have audio cassettes, and from audio cassette to audio cassette, I would record songs and record them all in like different kinds of orders and everything. Like right. I I would have like I had a playlist called 
uh, Satan's greatest hits and it was all devil songs and everything. Like I would do all these joke playlists basically, or I, I just had iTunes made that. It, it was like when iTunes happened, it was like digital editing. It was like the old way was like editing with two VCRs, and now it's the easy way, and everything's awesome. But like Final Cut and like everything that Apple's done, they fucked it up. Now they've made it. They, they just destroyed it, and now we're like going backwards in time again. Oh, I just opened that middle part up. Boom! That's what you wish you could do to iTunes. Yeah. Right? Blow it the fuck up. I wish I could find some- cause, cause I'm so know, sorry I mentioned iTunes. You're like so pissed off now. What, what is the thing, like, I... I've tried Swinzy and I've tried other things, but there's limitations with those that I can't do. I can't do things on them that I can do in iTunes. Right. Like, I can't oh, get my music box on the phone. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, I can't. I can't take music from from Swinzy onto a phone. It just doesn't support an iPhone. You know, it's like, I mean, maybe I should get a different, a whole new phone or something. But uh, there's so many things that you just can't do. I don't think you can burn CDs or you can't import CDs or something with with Swinzy. And I don't know. There, I just found all these limitations where basically every single time I try to find an alternative, it always ends up going back to iTunes. Like I'm stuck with it. There's nothing. I have to use it. There's there's no other solution. Well, good luck. <laughs> I don't have time for all that. I just yeah. like put in the thing, play but a couple songs. But the thing songs. is, it, with 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 uh, the way, with the good iTunes, the way it was, and everything, it was really easy to do that. Where it was so quick, and you you know, it's just like okay, song, 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 song. But now it's like they make it so much harder. Where every technology they made, they they're fucking it up. You know, <laughs> they're fucking it up, man. They're making a mockery of it. You guys want to know? Yeah. What, you, you guys want to know what like James really gets angry about? He gets angry about iTunes and, it's like and if, the music. You shit. Stand, if you, when you make when you make music a chore, like yeah. when it should it should it should, should be, be pleasurable. Have, you shouldn't have to think about it. Right. It should it shouldn't be like a thing that takes time and you have to figure yeah. out how to how to listen to my music without it like being a fucking hassle. Right. De like deleting like all your shit because it like yeah. it, starts, it starts sinking or. Yeah, it's just, and all that. It's, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so Star Fox, uh, oh fuck, you know what I wanted to mention? Yeah. Um, there is this- Oh, talk about that. There's yeah, a game yeah. called- I, I'm gonna get off of this yes. iTunes thing because now we're gonna talk about Star Fox Weekend. There was a game called Star Fox Weekend um, that came out to, uh, I think, promote this game. Star Fox came out before. And what it was, it was a competition cartridge. And um, it's very rare because there was only so many of them. And what it was, it was the first few levels, I believe, of uh, of the game of Star Fox, but it was on a timer. Yeah, so it's kind of like a Nintendo World Championship type of cart. Exactly. It's very and similar And that's the to real that. cart right there, huh? This is the real cartridge, and I just wanted to bring it out because we were thinking to actually do, do the video uh, with this using the competition cartridge because this is pretty rare. But the reason we didn't do that is because, you know, then we'd only be doing, I think, the first few levels, and we wanted to try to actually beat the game. But, um, really cool, uh, Star Fox, uh, weekend. Good stuff. I think Slippy's dead. Oh. Slippy croaked. And I'm dead too. <laughs> fuck. Let me, let me try this. I could do way better than this. Whoa. Ah! You know, could you play, could you imagine if you were flying uh, a plane like this, and then all of a sudden a giant rock just appears out of nowhere right in front of your face? It's like the Titanic, basically. <laughs> the iceberg, right? You know what they say? What happened with that was it was a a cold water mirage. When you have the heat on one side and the cooler air on the other side, it smears the sky into the ground and it looks like water. And you know, people think that they're walking towards water, and it's. It's really just a mirage. Right. Um, it was the opposite. What happened when they were having that, uh, all the icebergs and shit were coming down. A and cold it was like, water mirage. It was the opposite of what would happen in the desert. So instead of it smearing the, the sky down, it would actually smear the, uh... Damn it. So is that anything like, it a, would, like a brain freeze? Well, n n <laughs> but it, it, it basically smeared the, like, the, like basically looking at... Alright, let me pause it. Yeah. You're looking at the water line. And then it basically looked like the water was higher. And this is the middle of the night, it's dark. The only thing they would see would be the stars. And then if they'd see no stars here, that would be an iceberg. You know, like the iceberg's coming. Mm -hmm. They didn't see that because everything was kind of just cloaked. 
So nothing, nothing was visible until the iceberg was so close. There was nothing they can do. I mean, they steered it out of the way, but then it like it cut up the side, and then everything filled up, and then of course you know what happens after that. So you're saying that the Titanic was was cloaked. It was the the iceberg was cloaked. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. In other words, what I'm saying, I just I just made a comparison between the sinking of the Titanic um, and the uh, or more specifically the iceberg that sank the Titanic, and this big rock in Star Fox. Yes. It because it appears just like that. It's cloaked because of the 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 SNES's um, uh, graphical incap capability capability yeah. of displaying an object until it is too close. Right. There you have the uh, Star Titanic Fox and Star Fox. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought he was saying something about wing damage when wing he was I, I think so. Here we go. Here's the I, th boss. I thought he said uh, we be jamming. We be jamming? Yeah. Oh, there's a spider. Yeah, yeah. Use your bomb thing. I tried. I hit the me. wrong button. <laughs> Blow him the fuck up. Blow him the fuck up. That's what Falco should be saying. <laughs> Watch out. Whoa! Did the lights in the house just flicker? Oh shit. Okay, alright, you know, we just lost power. Oh shit. Great. Right. Um, we just lost power, but we didn't lose power to the, the recorder. Apparently not. Alright, let's... Okay. Oh man. Well, anyway... That's the first time that's happened to me in a while. That, that brings back memories yeah. as a kid when you're playing a game and then all of a sudden the power goes out. That's the first time that, um... As a kid, though, I would be flipping out right about now, but you know why? I think that the ease kind of... I, I, I don't have the ease because I got it all out on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for iTunes to be pissed about, I think I would be pretty pissed about what just happened. Oh. Didn't you say that happened to you as a kid when you played Akari Warriors? It, it happened to two games in particular that I remember. One was Akari Warriors. I got up to what I thought was the end. It actually wasn't, but I got to the skeleton guy behind the desk. Mm -hmm. The power went out. As soon as like the screen was scrolling up and I saw the skeleton, I'm like, oh, it's the end of the game. Actually, there's another level after that, but, yeah, but for all I knew. And then the power went out. Lost everything. Uh, what was the other one? The other one was... Uh, this is the worst thing ever, and uh, it's almost traumatic, is uh, Final Fantasy III on Super Nintendo. That wasn't the power Six. going out, though. Um, you told me that before. It was a glitch with the game. Yeah, it wasn't actually the power, but it was just, a, it was it was worse. It was a glitch with the game. I got to Kefka's Tower, and you, you know that game. It's huge. It's, it That's takes, probably my favorite Super Nintendo game. It's it's excellent, excellent game. Yeah. took months and months to, to beat, and I got to Kefka, uh, Kefka's Tower, and then all of a sudden the game did this glitch, and then when I it, it, it pretty much just froze. I had to you know reset it, turn the game back on, and uh, all three of the save slots were wiped out. Well, sorry we didn't well, uh, finish Star Fox, but uh, now I'm scared to play it again because what if it happens again? Um, yeah. Well. So anyway, that's Star Fox. Um, glad I got the chance to mention uh, Star Fox Weekend. Glad you got a chance to do a 25 minute rant about iTunes. <laughs> and uh, but Star Fox. Great Super Nintendo game, one of the absolute best Super Nintendo games that's in the top five or ten Super Nintendo games. Love oh, it's, it. It's a great game. It's a, it's a classic. Yeah. Everybody knows that already. Dude. We're not we're not telling mm, anything. Great franchise. Yeah. So good stuff. Did it, did it.